Welcome back. This is part five of six of my Unique Toys Ordin video. We're on the big one. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most. This is Siegfried. This is Unique Toys homage to Hunger. This is one of my favorite generation one toys as a kid. I loved Hunger. He's a two-headed dragon. So he's probably the most normal thing out of all of these bots other than a bird. <laughs> I mean, troll, whatever troll is, who knows? You got a land shark, you got a two-headed dog, you got a giant man-bird thing that looks like a totem pole. On this, you just have a nice, normal, two-headed dragon. He is probably the most faithful homage recreation to the G1. They basically just took everything about the G1 and made it better and more modern. And I honestly can't say enough about how much I love this figure. So he comes with a lot of stuff. Let's get that out of the way real quick. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Just pop out. Just fly out. First, we're going to go with the box. This is a big box, way bigger than the others. Hagen's here. This is kind of the normal size for the other ones. I think the smallest one is actually, this is Fenrir's. So it's a big box. On the back here, there's a ton of different stuff you can do with all the different things he comes with. Because he comes with like a shield. You can configure the guns differently. Since none of the other figures came with weapons, really, other than the feet and like the... Uh, they came with some things, but not a lot. Siegfried came with everything. You've got this kind of gun. You've got a big kind of ratchet and clank kind of gun. You've got this kind of gun. I mean, these are just guns. It's just there. And then you've got this right here. This is this is neat too. You also have these two little rocket launcher missile pod things. He comes with this, which becomes the the chest piece. It splits apart. You can kind of configure them in different ways. This is the crotch piece that kind of becomes either a shield or like a crossbow kind of thing. Again, there's a lot of things you can do here. And then it comes with two swords. So they all kind of fit together in different ways. We'll go over that probably mostly in the combined mode. Let's get in to this guy right here. So there's a lot of articulation here, mostly because his two dragon heads, these are basically the figure's legs. So the, the, the robot mode legs. So they move up and down all kinds of ways. Uh, and they look good no matter what. They're very tight, they're very ratchety. These right here are actually the robot arm figures, so they move around just like an arm would, which is kind of neat. So it's kind of cool with the way this transformed. These are the arms, these are the legs. Uh, back here, you've got standard kind of back hind legs. You know, standard dragon back hind legs, just like how every dragon you've ever seen has, you know, in real life. They're kind of dog legs, which is kind of neat. And then the tail is posable for days. You can do whatever you want. It moves. This way, it moves up and down. It's like a little snake thing. So they do a good job of making this G1 accurate and still playable. I like the little spikes that go all the way down. So it's, oh, it's such a good figure. I love it. Man, I kind of don't want to transform this. I kind of want to keep it on here. Look how long this thing is. This is my forearm like this. This is about the same size as my entire forearm. This is huge. Uh, and if you want to see me get more in depth on this, maybe less in depth, I don't know. If you want to see me talk more about this, actually this guy was on my last Bots and Shots. So give that a shot. This is, that's episode 6, I believe. Uh, and that's a lot of fun to do. I do that with my friend Zach. So maybe if you like this, give that a gander if you haven't. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy into his robot mode. So step 1, so he doesn't have anything to remove, unplug the forearms here. I didn't go over his beast heads again. They open up. And then he has his cool little drool stickers down here. So they open up because, just like the G1 toy, those are his feet. So we basically have his bottom half already done. And then this will immediately want to start collapsing down. And we can go ahead and do that. Now this part sucks. There isn't a great way to get his head out of this area right here. So I need to take this Batman bottle opener and just kind of try to get underneath there. There it goes. Close that back up. Close that back up. The whole thing comes down. And the back here, there's actually, this this back panel also comes up. Uh, and there's a, little, there's a little peg right here. And that pegs down. And that keeps it, that keeps it pegged in down there. 
that keeps this whole waist from sliding up and down. Next, we're going to take away these side legs right here and they come out and all the way back. So what we're gonna do is actually fold these bits up on the sides. This twists around and just pulls right up on the side. There's a hole, there it goes. So next, we're gonna get his hands free. So these dragon claws, we're gonna open them, open this up, pull out the hands. And the last but not least, we're just gonna tidy this up. The hind legs sort of fold in on themselves, just like they do on Fenrir, and they just kind of sit on his shoulders. And there we go, that's it. That is Siegfried, or Hunger, in robot mode. And he looks fantastic. I absolutely love the way this guy looks. Let's talk about his stickers real quick. We've got some Decepticon logos on the shoulders here. Also, one here. Now, this one's supposed to go on the back of the tail here, but I like it here better. I don't know, I just do. His side legs down here have that tattoo I talk about with the two-headed dragon and the Decepticon logo. And his identifying sticker is actually on his forearm. So this one has the kanji, and then this one has 004, because he's technically the fourth one that got released. And I don't know why they did that, but that's what they did. So we're just gonna stick with that. He has great articulation, his arm all the way around, strong ratchets, because everything's gotta be solid, because this is the core component of the whole combiner. He's got double jointed elbows, this moves around, his uh, wrist swivels, which is great, his waist swivels, and it's a tight swivel because again, that's the whole robot, um, that's the whole combiner mode swivel. The legs move around for days, you got knee bend, and then the one downside is that these feet, they have a lot, they're on a ball joint. So they have tilt and stuff and that's great, but they're also not the strongest. So he does tend to sort of fall back a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much robot mode for Hunger, Siegfried, whatever you wanna call him. Let's go ahead and get him into combiner mode. This pretty much stays the same. What we do have to do, however, though, is sort of untransform it. And what I've found, when you wanna untransform these, the best thing to do, put your thumb down here and pull the whole thing down. That gives you leverage to get it down. Because I feel like if you're just pulling up here without putting that leverage, the whole thing could snap off. But we have to do this because we have to put the head away. You basically have to kind of untransform it to get the head back, back away. There it is. Uh, we want this stretched out anyway, so that's fine. What we're actually gonna do are, is move these down here. That lengthens the whole torso. We're gonna put away his hands. This is gonna twist around like this. We're gonna move it perpendicular like that, and that's a fun word. So what's gonna happen, this is gonna fold in on itself, and there's a peg underneath. And since it's double jointed, it's hard to line it up, but you can get it. So it fits in on, so on itself right here. And then there's also on the side of his elbow, a hole and another peg underneath his arm. And that goes in on itself. So everything's one solid piece kind of pegged in right here. And then it just pegs right back where you found it initially. So that's what it's gonna look like right here. And then this is the arm combiner mode. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then since we're done with the top, we can go ahead and put these arms back where you found them because they kind of stay there, right there. So yeah, that's what the top is gonna look like. Now we have to work on the bottom. We're gonna close up the feet like this and we're gonna kind of bring them out a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we move the legs up to the side like this, make them do the splits and we're gonna turn it because what's gonna happen is this, this will now bend down on this. There's a, there's a joint right there. We're gonna flip the whole thing around and then we're gonna move the legs to the front. And then these collapse in on themselves. Then there's combiner ports, oh, there's strong ratchets back here. The first ones that came out were too strong. So Hagen, they came with replacement ratchets and they're super easy to replace, but my ratchets actually broke pretty much immediately. So for a while, these were just floppy and they, you could just you could, you could could move it around. Now this is solid. 
but I don't feel like it's gonna break, so it's good. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the combiner head out, and that's actually just stored in the tail right here. Pop up his antenna. And then now we've got these bits, and we gotta put these back together. I took them apart so I can show you they did that. But now we're just gonna put these together. And then there's all kinds of holes right here. That's what these are for, down here. And there's all kinds of pegs right here. So they just kinda, you line them all up. You push it real good, right in. So that's that, and then you have the crotch piece right here. And that just fits into the hole right here. And here you have the torso mode for Orden. There's a lot of stickers on here, right here, up here. Uh, I thought there'd be a Decepticon logo in the middle, but they actually put them on the top, and I actually kind of like that a lot better. I really, again, I know I talk a lot about replay labels with these because I have them on here. I really feel like if you're going to get these figures, you should get the replay labels. They make everything look really nice. This has been Siegfried in his torso mode. Again, this figure, if you don't get any of the other figures, I feel like, I feel like this figure by itself is worth the purchase. This is a great figure in every mode he comes in. He's not hard to transform, so I just, I love it. I love, I love everything about it. Thanks for watching so much. This has been part five. I got the last part coming out soon, and that will be where I combine everything together, and that should be a fun video to do. So thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. I'll see you later. Bye.